Hi, I'm Dr. Zach Rossell, an interventional cardiologist on the medical staff at Baylor Scott & White Heart and Vascular Hospital in Dallas. I'm speaking with you today because you've been referred for a cardiac procedure known as a left heart catheterization, or coronary angiogram with percutaneous intervention, also known as PCI. You may have also heard it called angioplasty, balloon angioplasty, or coronary artery balloon dilatation. The reason you're undergoing this procedure is because previous testing and symptoms have revealed concern for coronary artery disease, which is narrowing or blocking your arteries from cholesterol buildup and restricting blood flow to your heart. The angiogram will definitively assess if you have flow limiting blockages in the arteries. The goal of PCI is to open your blocked arteries. Depending on your condition, your interventional cardiologist may choose to use a balloon and or insert a stent to open up your blocked artery during this procedure. PCI is used as a treatment option for a variety of reasons. To greatly increase blood flow through the blocked arteries, to decrease chest pain, also known as angina, to increase your ability to participate in physical activity that has been limited by your chest pain or angina. With this brief video, I'm pleased to introduce you to our interventional cardiology department at the hospital, provide you information about PCI, and guide you through the patient journey at our hospital. Our goal is to successfully treat your blocked arteries and get you back to living well. If you haven't already done so, you can download the MyBSW Health app and or set up your personal MyBSW Health portal on the bswhealth.com website. This will enable you to communicate with us through a secure and private portal. View test results, set up or change appointments, request medication refills, and more. Before your appointment, a nurse from the Baylor Scott & White Heart and Vascular Hospital Scheduling Department will contact you to provide instructions, explain what will occur during your visit, and explain the registration process. This call typically occurs one day before your scheduled procedure. You will also receive a call from Access Services. This representative will help complete your pre-registration. The Interventional Cardiology Department is on the third floor of the Baylor Scott & White Heart and Vascular Hospital, located at 621 North Hall Street in Dallas, Texas. On the day of your procedure, when you approach the hospital, there are three parking options. You can use our valet service by driving up to the front entrance of the hospital, park in the surface lot number 19 across from the hospital entrance, or use the multi-level parking garage number 10 adjacent to the hospital. You will enter the hospital through the glass doors marked entrance. A team member will greet you, confirm your appointment, and direct you to the access service desk in the main lobby. The access services representative will ask you to see your driver's license and insurance information. When your registration is complete, the access service representative will escort you to the specialty care unit on the fourth floor, where you'll be prepared for the procedure. A fourth floor team member will then take you to a room where you will change into a gown and you will be prepared for your procedure, including the initiation of an IV. Once we are ready to get you to the procedure area, your family members will be escorted to the waiting room where they can wait while you're having your procedure and will receive regular updates on your progress and condition. During the procedure, we will use moderate conscious sedation with a combination of pain and anxiety medications. Our goal is that you are comfortable during this procedure. We do not plan to insert a breathing tube. Oftentimes you will fall asleep, but you will be able to respond to the physician. You may not remember much about the procedure once it's over due to the amnestic effect of these medications. You will receive lidocaine either in your wrist, groin, and or neck area to numb up the area. Then, the interventional cardiologist will insert a small tube called a sheath through which all the work will be done. Through the sheath, wires and catheters will be advanced into the arteries and chambers of your heart under fluoroscopic guidance. Contrast dye will be injected into the arteries and images will be taken. The camera will pass around you in different directions to take complete pictures. If a severe blockage is found, then a combination of wires, balloons, and stents will be used to open the blockage and improve blood flow. The procedure generally lasts 30 minutes to several hours, depending on your specific condition. After the PCI is completed, you will be taken to the recovery area. If the puncture from the catheter was made in your groin, you'll be asked to lie flat for several hours to make sure there's no bleeding complications. If the puncture was made in your wrist, 
you will have to remain lying down for a brief period of time. In some cases, your physicians will have you stay overnight for observation before discharging the next day. Before being discharged, you'll be given care instructions and prescriptions your physician may have ordered. You can download the Baylor Heart Center app to track your medication adherence, register for upcoming classes, and continue to learn more about cardiovascular disease through education blogs, podcasts, and videos. Within one to two business days, you will receive a post-discharge phone call from a nurse to check on your condition and answer any questions you or your family may have. Soon after discharge from the hospital, you will receive a call to schedule a follow-up visit with your cardiologist. We are grateful for the trust you have placed in us to care for you and your heart. We look forward to serving your heart and vascular needs now and in the future. Thank you for choosing Baylor Scott & White Heart and Vascular Hospital at Dallas.